guys welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and activate the cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that meanwhile just simply come on the task number one and copy the first command of task number one and run over here before that let me just increase the text size for you okay now run the first command then copy second command and run now copy the third command and run wait for a second click on authorize now copy the fourth command and run now this command is going to take a couple of seconds so just wait meanwhile open the online notepad because we need in later step so just wait until this command get executed And it's finally done now just simply scroll down copy the fifth command and run over here and then copy the sixth command and run okay so we are done with the task number one now for the task number two what you have to do copy this name search for the api and open this thing api and services new tab okay now click on this library and search over here and hit enter and now open this thing in new tab meanwhile just simply scroll down and copy the sql admin api do not copy that full stop otherwise you cannot find the api over here just simply search and hit enter and just check that are both the apis are already enabled or not if not just simply click on enable and once they are enabled just close that tab for me both the apis are enabled as you can see so i am just closing both the tabs okay so we are done with the task number two also now just copy this command run over here now this command is going to take at least five to six minutes so you have to just wait and make sure that your laptop will not go for a sleep otherwise you might face a unnecessary error on the next task and you can just go to sql and open this thing new tab and from here you can just track down the progress of your instance so just wait at least five to six minutes and then we will continue with the lab
and it's finally done now what you have to do just simply scroll down and from the point number four copy this name go back to your sql then click on this user okay now click on this add user account paste the name over here now copy the password copy that and paste over here okay now just simply click on add so you have done with this task also now just copy this command go back to your notepad and paste over here let me increase the size okay now just go back to your sql click on this overview and from the connection name just copy this name go back to your notepad and from here just select this remove that and paste now copy this command go back to your dashboard and run so we are done with this okay now just copy this command and run over here now it will ask for the password that time you have to just hit enter button no need to make any other changes just hit enter and now it's asking for the password so just hit enter button and you are connect to your database now what you have to do just copy the first query run over here then copy the second query run over here then copy this third query run and now just copy the exit command and run so you are out of your database now just simply click on the check my progress you will get a score without any error on task number three now for the task number four copy this name carefully now just simply search for the iam open this thing in new tab and from here click on the service account just wait and if it asks for the choose your project id just simply choose that otherwise the page must look like this now click on this create service account paste the name and now click on create and continue for the role from the point number five copy this cloud sql client copy that from here choose that thing and like this click on continue and just wait and click on done and from here you can see sql dash access click on that name then click on the keys now click on this add key from here choose the create new key and the type must be json and just simply click on create just wait and one key will download to your system now please pay attention because most of you guys going to face the error on the next task if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now what you have to do just copy this credentials okay let me just zoom in just copy this credential do not copy that uh, dot and json dot okay so just copy this go back over here open this thing in finder okay now just remove the and change the name and make sure your file name must look like this okay credential dot json okay now most of the windows user are going to face the issue over here now what you have to do just copy this go back to your dashboard okay let me just close this out and run over here okay so you are done with this command just wait and it's done now you have to upload that file which you download so just simply click on this upload and first of all you have to click on this three dot then click on upload and from here just choose that file credential dot json okay so the file is uploaded as you can see and it's done now most of the windows user are going to face an error so what you have to do guys just simply click on this plus icon run ls over here and just cross verify that is the file name is same credential dot json because i saw most of the windows user when they upload the file the file changes into credential dot json dot json and if you face that kind of error i will share one command in the description box and if you just comment down below i will share the command with you guys you have to just run that command over here okay like mv and the file name okay i will share that command on the description box once you run with the once you run that command again rerun the ls command and just cross verify is the file name changes to credential dot json or not if it's so then click on the cross go back to your original shell scroll down copy this command run over here okay now scroll down now copy this command 
and run okay just wait and you're done with this task now if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the task number six scroll down a little bit and from here just copy this command go back to your notepad remove this and paste over here now go back to your sql copy this connection name come back over here and from this less than sign till this greater than sign select this part remove that and paste to your connection id now copy this command go back to your dashboard and run and if you face any kind of error that's when you haven't modified or this command correctly okay so you're done with this scroll down copy this apply command and run over here okay just wait for a couple of seconds and it's done now copy the last two commands of this lab copy that and paste then scroll down copy this command and run now if you just simply click on the check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you didn't get a score on this task so just wait for a couple of seconds and again click on the check my progress and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day